Megan, were you surprised by how the yeah. other women reacted to Bronwyn's sobriety journey this season on OC? Kind of. I think it's probably hard to be sober on, as a real housewife. So, yeah, a little bit. But, you know, this has been an interesting season overall with all the COVID stuff. So I applaud her for being sober during COVID. Um, Bronwyn has since come out as a lesbian and is still with Sean. What's your reaction to that? Well, I read a tweet that said, or an Instagram post, I think Essie, you saw this too, that she said um, she wants to date people, but he can't. So I feel like if right. you have an open marriage, you should both be able to date or right. sleep with other people. I mean, I don't have an open marriage. I burn our house down if Ben ever cheated on me, like <laughs> Lisa left I Lopez. So I don't, I don't know anything about this, but you know, whatever works for them. Um, <laughs> wondering what you guys think of Kelly Dodd in general this season. <laughs> in general. I think, um, look, I think, I think Kelly's really happy now. And you know, I know her husband, Rick. Um, and I think that actually has made her a, li a, li a little lighter. But look, she's, Kelly's, Kelly's the enforcer on your hockey team, right? She's not a diplomat. She's not going to the UN any, anytime soon. Right. So, so, I mean, that's always sort of going to be who she is. Um, thoughts on the new housewife yeah. in Dallas, <laughs> Tiffany Moon, Megan, have you seen? Yeah, I I mean I've seen only clips of it. Like I said, I haven't I apologize. I really like No, that's all right. is kicking my ass. Yeah, right. Um, but I love Dallas and I have this and I was supposed to watch last night, but she went to sleep, so I apologize. How? But on Kelly Dodd, this is what I will say. I was totally <laughs> with Kelly Dodd for a long time because I have things to say about Kelly Dodd. And then I went and watched her happens live with her and she was so mean to me and had clearly had some drinks beforehand. And now I've totally turned on her. Remember how weird she was? And she was like calling me a trust fund kid that I never worked a day in my life. I get up every day at 5 a.m. to work, man. What are you talking about? She was so mean. <laughs> um, and I know her husband too. How are you both feeling about Salt Lake's first season? Are you, are you, uh... who's your star, Essie? <laughs> oh, good. Oh my God. Well, I stan Meredith Marks. I love everything about her. And yeah. I'm just hoping that one day I can be the right. friend that Brooks approves of. That's 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 my goal there. And then yes. I'm really kind of I'm kind of scared of Jen Shaw. She's like she's like a beautiful, bedazzled, uh blinged out dictator. And I'd be I'd be afraid. Yes. I'd be afraid. <laughs> yeah. Uh Megan, who literally are literally a perfect Megan, show. who's like, your you guys, MVP? Yeah. I mean, you literally, you guys have put to, you have mastered the formula and the art of the housewife. Salt Lake City is literally coming in so hard and so fast for maybe my favorite franchise right now. Um, I yep. love all of them. I know that's kind of like a cop out answer. Yeah, everyone agrees with me. I actually feel like they gotta be a little nicer to Mary when she was crying because she wasn't right. invited to the hip hop party. I felt so bad for her. Right. I was like, she's trying, yeah. and Jen Shaw's just got this hard on for her. And like, <laughs> I know how it feels to be a bitch that people have hard on for. Come on, give her a break. Invite her to your party, man. Over <laughs> the barrier. All like, right, I, thank I, you. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Thank you great. for your hot takes.